With a little over a year to the end of an eight-year term of office for the president, Nanado Dankwe Kufado, a new project is set to commence under his government. The construction of an 8,000 affordable housing unit set to be completed in the next 18 months on this 203-acre piece of land. The project, according to the government, will be in two phases. The first phase, which is meant to cover 4,000 housing units within 18 months, and the remaining 4,000 units to be completed within the same frame of time. Unlike the previous efforts, this revised program stands out as distinct and exceptional in multiple ways. This distinction arises mainly from the valuable insights gained from our past experiences, inspiring our commitment to approach things the right way this time. But one may ask, what happens with the Saglemi housing project, which till date remains a white elephant? First, let's go back in time. The Saglemi housing project initiated in 2012 was meant to deliver to a tune of 5,000 housing units. However, only 1,506 units were delivered at 98% of the 200 million costs allocated at the stipulated time. Even so, the structures were at various degrees of completion with deficits in basic amenities like water and electricity. In view of this, government has decided it will dispose of the project to private developers. Here's why. Government has to raise additional financing to the tune of 46 million United States dollars to complete the off-site infrastructure works. That is water, electricity, and storm drains to mitigate flooding. Further, 68 million United States dollars are required to complete the buildings and other essential on-site infrastructure works. There are, however, some concerns raised about the ownership of the land situated on the Pokwase Amasaman stretch. MC for Ghana North, Simon Sechi, however, says measures have been put in place to resolve the matter. Although the land belongs to families and the land was acquired by government 1949 for agricultural purposes and now government is using it for affordable housing for the public to utilize. Uh, we've done a lot, we engage the families, we also do a lot of engagement with the chiefs and the elders and through the process we also realized there were one or two problems that through my office we were able to solve. Well in terms of costs for the National Affordable Housing Program, a studio apartment will have a maximum unit price of 13,800 US dollars. A one bedroom will cost 20,700 US dollars. A two bedroom will cost 34,500 US dollars. And a three bedroom apartment will cost 42,550 US dollars. As to whether or not this will indeed be affordable to the average Ghanaian, only time will tell. Judith Awachitando, TV3 News, Pokwasi. Accra.